Greetings and salutations, fans of Lens Flare. Lens Flare, I. Um. <laughs> yes, I'm keeping that in. Uh, here we have from Transformers Generations Thrilling 30 the IDW Orion Prime or Optimus Pax or yeah, Orion Pax. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, this was Optimus Prime before he had the Matrix. I'm sure all of you know that already. If you're a real fan of Transformers and you're watching this video, you knew that. You really did. After 30 years, you really need to know that. <clears throat> Alright, you see in there, here's his IDW Spotlight comic. I haven't read it yet. I will. I will get around to it. And I don't have to worry about lack of force field face because he doesn't have a force field. Now this, I gotta point this out. This is weird. Series two, number two. Orion Pax is standing behind Megatron. I don't know if anybody can see that. There's his gun. There's his axe. His arm, you can see. There's his, his waist. Right there. Why? What is the significance of that? Is this that just a misprint on the box? I'm going to have to see, compare that with Megatron's later on um, when I do the Megatron review. See if that's the same picture they use for Megatron or not. It may or may not be. It may just be a screw up. It may be done on purpose. That's kind of weird. Anyway, here's his tech specs. Wow, his rank is only three? Boy, did he go up in the world. Alright, and we're going to zoom in so you can read the Lens Flary bio. There you go. Alrighty. And you can see on the back of the package, the product shots. He has a nice energy axe. He has his ion blaster, which we'll look at really soon. Nothing on the side. The bottom, you see Megatron and Bumblebee. All right. Goodbye, package. No, I'm not throwing it. I'm not MGO. Not happening. Come on down. And here we have Orion Pax in his little truck mode. And he is little. He is a very tiny vehicle. Very, very tiny. But you know what? He's still cool. I like it. I like this, this, this vehicle mode. Autobot symbol through the windshield because that becomes his chest. <clears throat> they painted the headlights nicely. I'll give it that. And the grills are painted. The front bumper. Some more silver detail on the side. I like that. There's a couple details here on these... Uh, whatever these struts are on the back are supposed to be. I'll pick them out. But yet again tail lights are not painted. At least I got the rims painted. They did do that. So, you know, there is that. There is a little bit of kibble sticking out here because you can see his arms. But, you know, I'll forgive it. I'll forgive it. It's, it's Orion Pax. Our first really, really true Orion Pax figure other than, like, the arms micron repaint of Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime, and I think there was another one um, done by somebody. I can't remember. Somebody will fill me in on who it was. Anyway, here's his axe. And the whole thing is done. It, it's really cool because it's, it's one mold. But here it's black plastic and here it's clear. And you can see up here where it mixes in. So that's really nice. I, I, I like that little attention to detail there. It's really cool. This is cool because it's just a small, stubby version of the rifle he would carry as Optimus Prime. Nice touch. Really nicely done. Get them out of here. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to turn him into a robot. And we'll look at his not Optimus body. All right? Be right back. <laughs>
Alrighty, here we have Orion Pax in his robot mode. And he gets a lot more details that make him look like Optimus Prime in this mode. Uh, like these little yellow chevron things on his arm. Down here at his waist. And just the, how this whole abdomen section is done. Very, very much like Optimus Prime. So you could really see where he came from. And you see he holds his weapons nicely. You can hold his axe too if you want. It has a slightly larger part so that you can put it in his hand nicely. And one thing he has that uh, Bumblebee and Trail Cutter didn't have. He has a wrist swivel. And he's the only one of the four with the wrist swivel. He probably has the best articulation out of the four of them. Um, head is on a slight ball joint, so you can go, oh, oh, oh I'm going to become Optimus Prime one day. Ha, 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 All right. Has a waist. It is actually part of the transformation, but, hey, a waist is a waist. Nice movement at his, uh, shoulder. Arms go out. Rotate. He has ratchets there as well. Ball jointed hips, swivel. His knee is a little limited, um, but you know what? That's not a bad thing. It's 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 just a little limited. And then he has ball joint and a swivel here, so you can get some really really good uh, you know. I have to save my girlfriend Ariel. Yeah, let's see who gets that one. <laughs> and like I said, you know, the Autobot symbol behind the windshield there becomes, it, it, it shows up on his chest in robot mode. It was really nicely placed. Transformation's pretty cool because, you know, this is the front end of the car. This is the front end of the car. This is the windshield. But these are the back wheels. It's really cool how that happens. All right. So I'm going to zoom in on his face, so we can see his not Optimus face. And really, look at that. It's a nice, nice head sculpt. Um, they did give him light piping, but because of this thing behind his head, they painted his eyes in light blue. I don't mind that. It actually gives his face some more life. I wouldn't, I, I like painted eyes on some figures. It just works better, in my opinion. Your opinion may be different. I like painted eyes on some of my figures. There, I said it. So I I do have to recommend him. He is, I think, my favorite out of them. Um, Megatron is good, but this is just, I, I, I don't care about his size. He's, he's small. But, he's Orion Pax. He's an official Orion Pax figure, people. It's awesome. I love these IDW designs. They're really fantastic. Really well done. They really capture the comics with, um, with these figures. I mean, really. Uh, kudos to Hasbro. Good job. Alright, good job. Um, so, yeah. Get him. Get Orion Pax. You won't be disappointed, all right? You won't. Here, I'll show them off. Here's tra Trail Cutter. And here's the leader of the Autobots, Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee is a lot larger. I'm not going to lie. So Trail Cutter is a lot wider, and he's a lot taller. But you know what? I don't care. Because when he becomes Optimus, he's going to be huge. And then he'll say stuff like, Autobots, roll out. So I'm going to roll out. Later.